today I'm here with a new video and for you who doesn't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I am a cruelty free YouTuber that does a lot of makeup videos. And today is nothing special and today it is a two looks, one palette. And I'm going to play with the Kaleidos and Angelica Nyqvist collab, the Club Nebula. I can leave my first impression up here. I have been dying to use this more. I <laughs> I just love this palette and I am might a little biased because I know Angelica. But yeah, I'm going to do two looks and I will start with the first look and we will see how this will go. <laughs> I think I know what I want to do for this first look at least. So we just hop into this and I will leave the timestamps down in the description because I'm going to do like a review of these two looks. So if you want to see that, let's keep on watching. So I will do two colors in my crease. So I will take Gravity, this green one, and also Nauru. Sorry, <laughs> in my crease as well. And we will see how this will look. I have primed my eyes and I'm going in with Gravity. And this was <laughs> like the first shade I really wanted to use. I didn't use it in my first impression though. I don't know why, but I wanted to do something that is like typical me and I did, but I really wanted to play with this. And okay, I like this. It feels like it matches my nails a little bit. And I'm going to take this like here in my inner crease or in the beginning of my crease maybe I should say. I never know what to call it. And then I will have it like in my inner corner a little bit as well. And this will look a little bit strange. It will just do it. And can you hear like my dangling plugs? Maybe not, but I can hear them. I like never have these kind of plugs, so I'm not used with the sounds. But I actually think I really like them. And then I go in with this shade in the rest of my crease. Do I want to do that? Maybe I should take Queen of Blades, but maybe that doesn't look good with the thing I'm doing next. And maybe it's a little bit dark. I'm going to swatch it. It's really dark, but uh, you know what? Will I make it? Yeah, I take Queen of Blades, so it's uh, this one instead and take it in the rest of my crease. And this might be a stupid idea, but you know what? I'm just doing it right now. So I'm going to tap the brush off a little bit and we will see. Oh, I actually think that this will work. Um, okay, this was really deep. Like that have stuffed me before. Um, nope. And that I really <laughs> like about this palette, it is some really deep colors. And now I don't... I think I will blend the lighter green into the darker green instead of the darker green into the lighter green. Because I don't want this darker to take over. I hope you're getting what I'm saying. I guess you do, so I'm we'll going in with gravity. Ooh, I like how these look together. And I guess that this was a better idea. And this Queen of Blades I dipped it in and then I tapped it off and I, I didn't like need it to take anything more. So that I think is good. And now I'm just going to try to do the same thing on this eye. Uh, so far I really, really dig this. So I am going to go in with on my lid. I want to take Cylon, this one, and also Astro, this one, and I will of course take Cylon on my outer 
puff off my lid. I think I might want to put Astra over it. I think that will look cool. So I will start with Cylon. And do you know what? My brushes, they are like coated in cat hair. Because my cats love my eyeshadow brushes. I don't know if having them like on display is the smartest thing. Bad. They haven't taken them and haven't destroyed them. It's just, it's cat hair. But like, I know that my life will be covered in cat hair, so yeah. And I really love how dark it gets like in my crease where these two meet, Queen of Blades and Cylon. I just want to go in with my crease brush that I had, Queen of Blades, the dark one, and just blend here a little, little bit. Okay, and then I'm going in with Astro, and this one. And in my first impression, I used Nebula, and I used a glitter primer because I wanted or I did a halo. I have swatched this Astro and I feel like it has more like a base to it. So I will actually try to have it just on my sticky eyeshadow base. We will see how it looks. It picks up on the brush really good. And yeah, this definitely works on its own. I just hope that this will go together with gravity. The lighter shade I had in my inner corners or in the beginning of my crease. But I think it will if I just go a little bit easy on it, like up here. Sometimes I feel like I have hooded eyes and sometimes it feels like you can do like two looks in one because when I'm looking like straight in you can't see my eyelids it looks maybe like a green look but then I close my eyes and then it's wonderful things on my lid <laughs> is that just me trying to make me feel better of my hooded eyes might be and I will go over a little bit or uh, kind of much on darker shade and oh I like this over this I just want to go in with a little bit of the dark shade I dip my brush tap it off because I don't want it to be too much but just blend it a little bit with astro so I'm done with the lids like this and I really like it maybe it looks like the whole palette exploded on my eyes Sometimes it just looks like that when I'm doing a makeup look. But I will take away the fallouts, I fix my base, and then I come back and we do the under eyes. And I don't know if I want to take some, uh, some um, in my inner corner or not, or if I will just take gravity the whole way. We will see. But yeah, I fix my base. For my under eyes for this first look, I <laughs> can't talk with the palette. I actually think I will go in with just... Gravity, do I want the right shade? Gravity and Queen of Blades. So I will start with Queen of Blades. Tap it up, tap it off, tap it off because I don't want any fallouts. And maybe it was a little bit. Why did I start out here? I never do that. So maybe like so. Like that, and then I take gravity on the rest of my lower lash. Tap this off. And I don't think I want to take any shimmer in my inner corner. Do I want that? Maybe I should take Firefly. I had it in my inner corner. My first impression, if I do not mistaking. So I will take it and I will just take my pinky and just put it over a little bit. I think I just need to stop taking in the corner highlights. But okay, this looks amazing <laughs> over gravity. It looks so freaking green. So for my watch line, I think I want to go with something 
to match gravity. I don't know though if I have that. I'll go with this from NYX. This is hot dang. And this is not green, but I will go with this. I think this was a good one. <laughs> so I'll put on mascara and try to choose a lippy and then I'll come back with the finished first look. Uh, for my lips, I used Kaleidos Immersion. This is one of my absolutely, absolutely, absolute favorites from Kaleidos. And this is the first finished look. The first finished look. This is the first look. And I did use Firefly Gravity Queen of Blades Astro and Cylon. And I really like this look. It's dark, but it's not like too dark. I really love the gravity in the inner corners. So yeah, I'm really happy with this look. And if you want to see my other look, just keep on watching. It's time for the second look with the Club Nibula palette from Kaleidos and Angelica Nyqvist. It looks like this and I actually think kind of what I want to do. <laughs> I think this look can be pretty dark as well as the other look was but I just want to play with darker colors in this palette and not with the lightest so I will just start. So I will start in my crease with this 7 of 9. <laughs> okay I don't want to take it in my whole crease but maybe... I want to like focus on the inner half and we will see how I feel when this hits my eye. And I'm trying to be a little bit more party. <laughs> a little bit more party. But maybe a little bit more fancy than I usually am. So I got my like biggest necklace on. It's so huge and I'm also drinking in wine glass. This is a non-alcoholic. Prosecco? I guess it's some kind of like Prosecco but non-alcoholic and I'm just trying to get myself maybe a little bit of a mood. I don't know, I've been so tired today. I really like this, I think I don't want to take it. Now it's almost in the whole crease but I don't think I'm going to take it like the whole way. So like this and then I want to go in with Void, this one, and take it on almost my whole lid. I think I might save some space in here, but on the most of my lid and also like smudge it a little bit up to my crease where I don't have the 7 of 9 and this was super pigmented. And the Taurus. And this is what I really like about okay. I don't know why I want to stop, stop, start talking about things that I should save for the review in the end of the video. So I'm just going to shut up. But I like this shade and I'm going to see if this brush wants to blend up here. I am really making an effort to use different brushes or okay if I'm going to be totally honest I have duplicates of my favorite brushes but I'm really trying to not use the same brushes over and over again at this brush yeah, this worked maybe a little bit too stiff to like make a nice blend but I like it. I go in with my crease brush and no additional product just to blend it a little bit here. I feel good about this. I'm just going in a little bit more. So for the rest of my lid it is two things I want to do. First off I want to put this You Are My Only Hope on this dark shade and then I'm going to cut the little inner part here and put Nova on top of it and I think I should cut first put Nova on and then take You're My Only Hope on dark one so I will do that 
So I will take my NYX Glitter Primer and have a little bit on my hand. It's so much air in this one, so it's so hard to get like end product out. Okay, so I will cut the inner part and I have to be concentrated. So not that much that I want to cut, but a little bit and I go up in my crease and over the void shade a little bit. Like that. And then I take my finger just to tap out the edge. And then I'm going in with Nova. Okay, this one. I love this. Oh my. Usually like duochromes isn't my thing. Or at least say, but maybe it's starting to become my thing. I don't know. Okay, I think the look would look super cool just like this but i actually want to try to take your my only hope on the rest of my lid and have like a whole shimmer lid it might look kind of like the last look but i want to try it and this i don't want to have any glitter glue i just want to see how it will look on top of this Kind of good, not just kind of, it looks good and it feels like I'm going to have little shimmer specks on my face the rest of the week. So do you know what I like also how it looks where Nova is on top of the dark matte, the void shade, it is really like Deep, I, I don't know. But I think this looks really good. Even though I got specks down to my pants, it feels like. So, okay, I will do the same to this side, fix my base and my brows, and then I come back and we do the lower lash together. For my under eyes, I actually think that I want to go in with rock hopper this one and only take that one I will try it and see how it looks I think this is pretty dark as well but I'm just going with it I'm going to tap it off because I don't want it on my face I think this will work together with together with together with void the dark blue I have on my lid and out here it's now I really need my mascara and something in my waterline. But for my inner corner, I will actually take Nova, the one that I had or have in here that I cut my crease for. And I will take it and my pinky and just put it in there. I guess if I would want it more intense, I could spray it, but I think just a little bit because it feels a little bit empty in this inner corner and for my wash line i think or maybe it would look cool with one of these or maybe this one yeah for my wash line i will take cry baby from colourpop this is like a pastel -y purple so and i will put on mascara and a lipstick and then i come back with a finished second look for my lips, I took two from Kaleidos, I took Infusion, Infusion that is a lip tonic, and like a lip gloss in Crystallize, just to try to match the eyes a little bit. But this is the finished second look, and I know all the looks became, or the two looks became kind of dark. The look at my first impression is a little bit lighter, but okay, I love this Nova, it doesn't look that much in the pan. You can see that it has like I can see if I can show you. I don't think I can. But it has like no, it looks just white to you. 
But when I look at it from the side, I can see like the bluish pinkish and I can really see that on my eyes. And this You Are My Only Hope, I love it over the void shade. So I think it's just time to go into the review. So yeah, what do I think about the palette? I really, really like it. I think this, this is my favorite palette from Kaleidos. Maybe because it's new, maybe because I know Angelica. I don't know, but I really, really like it. And now the latest, I've actually started to like more bigger palettes. Like these 15 pans or 12 pans. And I don't know if it is because of that. But, so okay, which colors have I used? I have used all the colors except for Naru, this one, and Celestial, this one. If you count in my first impression. Then I used these three and this one in my first impression. But what I really like about this palette is that it has some really deep shades. I often feel like Kaleidos have missed that, or I have missed it in other palettes, like a really deep shade to deepen it down with. Like the sci-fi green is also one of my absolute favorite palettes from Kaleidos that has a black one, and I love that. And I really love that about this one as well. I know <laughs> that both of these looks became pretty dark, but I really wanted to try out the deepest colors in the palettes just to see how they is, because Kaleidos usually don't do this deep shadows, so I wanted to see if they were good, and they are. Um, I think they are really good. And they are blendable and easy to build up and easy to blend together with other shades. So, okay, I don't know if I'm going to hold this or not, but it feels like I should. So I really like the mattes and I think they are really good, all of them. I really like this Samos that I used in my first impression. I feel though that the colors can be a little bit darker on the eye than in the actual pan. I usually don't care that much, it didn't bother me in any of the looks I have done, So, but just so you know, the one thing, if we're going to like, the, the the earlier palette from Kaleidos, I feel that up until Sci-Fi, the Lunar Lavender and Sashimi, Sashimi City, um, the shimmers was so intense, like metallic intense shimmers, like amazing shimmers. Then in the Escape Pod, they came with more like duochrome and more topper shades and I feel that this palette is a little bit more like the escape pod than maybe the sci-fi green or uh, cyber bronze. But like this Astro, I used it without any <laughs> glitter glue at all, just my normal eyeshadow base and it worked amazing. But just keep that in mind. I don't think it's a bad thing and I do not care if I need to use a glitter glue to get something intense or glitter primer. I, I like how this looks, this Nova. And I like how this You Are My Only Hope was over this void. But just you know, they aren't like that. They are more similar to the Escape Pod than the earlier Futurism palettes in my opinion But it's going to be so fun to play with this more because I really want to do it I want to try to do kind of light look I will see if I will do it or if I will keep doing darker looks with this one and Hopefully this video is coming out the day before the restock so on Tuesday the restock has to be on Wednesday, so hopefully it will come up before that, I will leave the times down in the description when it will be restocked. So yeah, I think that was all for this review. I, I, I'm so bad at doing reviews. 
but I really love the palette. It has been so fun to play with it and it has made me try to experiment a little bit more with shimmers, which I'm starting to like now. I don't know what's up with me and I really love that it's going that you can de do it really deep and dark and I also think oops I want to compare it a little bit with escape pod now before I end um, the escape pod looks like this if you didn't know and if I hold up the Angelica or the club nebula 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 palette and Jesus Christ it's like this is the older, gruncher, darker sister and this is the little sister that is more into bright fun colors and I think I want to do a look with these two together because I think that will be really cool to take like the light, maybe the orange or the light light intense pink together with some dark shades in this one. So these this is the comparison between the two. I think they can complement each other really good. Can you see them? They are pretty. This is the only thing I don't like with this palette. It's hard to hold them up. But I think, I hope that you see what I mean with a little bit deep depth to Kaleido's brand. I think that is really good. And yeah, now I'm going to end this review. I really hope you liked this video and if you're thinking of picking it up, I think you should. I have no problems with this as far as now. I really like it and yeah, now I'm going to stop talking because I need to edit this as well. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!